Well, the U.S. is the only relay to bring four new swimmers to the finals. Four different swimmers got them into the finals. And, and Dan, if you just add up their flat start times, it adds up to a world record. So you've got to believe the Americans are heavy favorites here. The key is, the, I think, is the first leg. Aaron Pearsall needs to get them out there, get some clean water, give them some confidence. You've got a new swimmer coming up in Chanteau that hasn't been in this position before. And so is Walters. Walters is the first time for him to be on this medley relay. Pearsall and Phelps are used to it. All right, so let's check the time of Pearsall. World record 51.94. There is the white line is the individual world record line that Pearsall is chasing. 51.94 finishes just behind it. As Shanto goes into the water with a lead for the United States, Germany below the Americans in lane four. Get a clean exchange here. Phelps into the pool in the fly. Well, you know, Lauderstein had the fastest relay split this morning. He was about 50 flat. All right, what kind of lead well, now does he's David got, Walters now he's got need? It. I, I, I kind of held my breath for the United States there for just a second because I thought, well, you know, this is a little closer than I know they would think they wanted to be. But now all of a sudden, it's built into a full body lane. The race is on for silver. Americans sweep the relays. World record time, Germany second, Australia third. And Michael Phelps ends these world championships with his fifth gold medal in six finals.